Hey, this is Ray the Video Guy with another iMovie how-to video. Today I'm going to show you how to import video from your camera into iMovie. Now in a previous video we showed you how to start a new iMovie project. So we're going to assume that you're in your new project and all the way over to the left you're going to see a little picture of a camera and you're going to click on this and that will bring up the capture window. Now you'll see in this window you've got a few different options. One, you've got your camera option here, built-in eyesight, and in my case the HV20 camera, which we're going to leave on there. You can uh, switch to the eyesight camera if you've got one built into your computer and you can record yourself. Now, the next to the, up above this you're going to see automatic or manual. Now automatic allows you to just instantly with one button rewind the tape, capture the tape, and you're done. Uh, manual, if we switch to that, you'll see gives you some options to play and stop and rewind and fast forward so that you can capture just the sections of the tape that you want. Uh, in our case for today, I've got a video of an eye doctor and I'm just going to put it on to automatic and hit import and you'll see the new event pop-up will show up on your screen here. You'll see that you can choose the hard drive that you want to capture it to. Uh, in my case, I think I'll capture it to this one here. There's a lot of space on it. Now you can create a new event. In fact, on this one, because there's nothing on that hard drive, it will create a new event. And I'm going to call this Doctor, just for sake of making sure we know what it is. Now if you're, if you're doing a vacation video or something like that, you can split the days into new events so that if you did something on one day and something on another, it'll automatically split it for you. Uh, after import, you can analyze for stabilization. I don't need to do that for this, but if you were on a vacation and it was just a handheld video, this will make it a little more stable if you were a little shaky. Uh, import 1080 HD video as large or as full original size. What this does is this optimizes your video to a 960 by 540 so that you're not taking up as much hard drive space and depending upon what you're going to do with the video afterwards, it may be well worth it to keep it at the smaller size. Uh, if you plan on using it at 1080, then feel free to choose full. I'm just going to choose large for today, just because this is a practice. And then I'm going to hit import. And you'll see that changes to importing, and you can see that it's about to start playing here. And there's our friendly doctor. Okay, you can see that we've reached the end of our capture here and it's generating some thumbnails for the videos that we made and in just a moment everything will be ready to go. And it says camera import complete and we imported about one minute of video so we'll hit OK and you can see our video is now down here in our bins and you can scrub through it. This is some exciting stuff as you can see. And that's basically how you import video from your camera. We hope this helps you out with iMovie. And remember, we're going to have a lot more in this video series. So check back often to see all the great videos that we have to help you with your iMovie projects.